right now. You want me to get up? You want me to get up? Huh? Yeah. Come on, Ria. Let's go. Let's go outside. Go outside time. Go outside. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Good. Good boy. <coughs> Let's go outside. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. What's up guys? It's your boy Scott coming to you with another new video. Now we're in my fish room. That's right. My favorite place in this entire house is my fish room. I love it in here. I love it in here. In today's video, we're going to talk about what inspires me to make the videos that I make. So without further ado, let's get seated at my desk and let's get talking about it. Come on. to finally have a day to myself where I can catch up on some of my YouTube creative stuff like making some new videos, getting ahead of the game, as well as answering a ton of uh, hobby stuff like clubs asking me to speak and, and events coming up that people want us to help in, etc. Uh, December, January is normally the time where we start getting requests where people want us to uh, help in some way in the hobby. We've been doing that for years. And even though Liz said we're not doing anything this year, I know that it's hard for me to say no and I'll probably end up doing something. Probably be aquatic experience. This will be, we've done it for three years now. I, I couldn't see us not doing it for a fourth year. Uh, we're definitely going to go to Aquashella in Chicago, especially now that KG Tropicals is going to be able to get candy there. I'm not going to miss that opportunity for anything. But with that said, uh, let's just talk about my fish room. Uh, Let's just see, look here. This is where I do most of my creations as far as when it comes to videos. I found out, and I've moved all my equipment in here because I found out that uh, I, I see stories in these tanks or themes in these tanks. So sometimes I just sit in my chair and I sit back and I look at these tanks and, and something will speak to me. Like there's, there's something going on here in this tank behind you that I'm going to show you today. Uh, this other tank has my jaguar pair uh, laying eggs and, and, and it's really cool to watch them spawn. Uh, the arowana tank is always incredible to watch. I have a new dovi pair, well not a new dovi pair, but I actually, this is the dovi pair I brought in from the garage that we talked about. They're in here and they're laying eggs as well. Uh, there's just a lot going on in, in here and I have found that setting up everything in here seems to give me the ability to create the best video so what i always do when i have a day off and when i start working on youtube stuff is i gotta play a print song that just gets me into the mood uh it just again 
Prince was such a creator, hard worker, uh, didn't compromise for anything kind of dude. Uh, He's, he's my idol. Everybody knows he's my idol. So I always start open with a little print. So if you give me a second, let me jam to a little print and uh, we'll get started. No! Alright, first thing I'm going to do, this is my routine and I know I have a lot of content creators that follow my channel. So leave some comments below letting me know what you do when it comes to creating videos uh, is there like a place that you have that helps you with your creativity uh, tell me about your process leave comments below interaction is key on video so I really appreciate you you guys leave a comment and as I said each one of these tanks has a different story or theme going on so Let's take a look at this tank right here. Let me show you. That is my Red Tiger Moto tank. It is a 75 gallon uh, Red Tiger Moto, which is the Parachromas Moto Winds uh, breeding pair. They breed like twice a month. Uh, and I noticed recently that I haven't, I'll see fry and then all of a sudden the fry are gone. And it's not because a filter or anything is sucking them up. What I found out was that there are two to three grow outs uh, from previous batches that are about an inch to an inch and a half long who have somehow survived in this tank and are eating all the fry when they, uh, when they spawn and have fry. So, I'm going to give you a quick look at this. It's really cool to watch and see if you can see the grow outs that are eating everything. Now for me to make them come out I have to put some food in here. But just watch the complexity of the story as these grow outs start out and try to get food and get back into underneath these rocks so they're safe. But watch the parents go absolutely nuts trying to pick these grow outs off. I mean, seriously, how crazy and cool was that? To see those two, three grow outs just jumping out, eating some food, zipping back underneath the rock. At some point, I hope they realize they're gonna get big where they're not gonna be able to fit under that driftwood and, and rocks. But until then, they seem to be safe. Christmas bells, I like it. Church bells for sure. So that's awesome. So I got a lot of behind the scenes stuff going on, obviously. I love when people reach out and want to, you know, help with my channel, growing it adding stuff such as you know some sort of intro uh, or theme music 
I don't know about this that particular beat. I am, uh, I mean, you guys know me, uh, but I do think that would be great for like some footage when I'm taking when I'm taking footage of some aggression going on with some cichlids. I think that beat would be pretty damn awesome. So I'm gonna holler at Oscar real quick. One second. Next thing I want to show you guys is my Parachromus Mana Winds, uh, the Jaguar cichlid and their breeding and the absolute magic that is created when these two guys breed. You would not believe how many eggs this female is able of producing. And I'm getting ready to show it to you right now. So, without further ado, Parachromus Jaguar cichlid breeders. How cool was that? The Parachromus Mana Winds, aka the Jaguar Cichlid, female was laying roughly a thousand eggs, if not more, and the male was protecting her and then going behind and fertilizing the eggs she was laying. I guarantee you in about a week or two we're going to have some wigglers and some free swimming fry, and I will definitely bring that footage to you. So we're running out of time here. I have a few more things to do. I have a ton of uh, comments I need to respond to. I have a couple of emails asking me things about, uh, one of them is about the CARES program, one of them is about lights that I, I did a video review on a few months ago. So I got a ton of work to do. The main point of this video was just to show you that I have a wealth of inspiration and of creativity in each one of these tanks. I mean, each one of these tanks speaks to me with a different story every week and I hope you guys will allow me to continue to show you that story, tell that story, and bring it into your home so you can enjoy it as well. My main goal has always been for you guys to get excited about it so that you want to keep fish as well and hopefully keep these big large Central and South American cichlids because they're so smart, they have so much personality, and they are quite, quite uh, colorful. Hopefully you guys, as you watch my channel, will be intrigued and if you don't already have these large beasts in your fish room, you may start to consider doing that as well. Now, uh, we're going to bring it to an end. Don't forget that my girl Susie Q is coming on next. She's premiering a video, so definitely check her out. She's just down the street from me literally about two hours away. So let's go to Suzy Q's house and check out her new video. And then after that, we're heading down south to Florida to check out Aquafunk, the Angel Freak. He's got a new video coming out. We're really trying to keep things fresh. We're trying to, you know, bring the very best out of the three of us as well as give you guys something fresh to look at every week. So please leave comments below on Suzy Q, Angel, Aquafunk, the Angel Freak, and me as well, letting us know if you are enjoying 
uh, the, the video creativity that we're bringing every Friday night. We would greatly appreciate it. All right, with that said, guys, I just got a new uh, link from Oscar, who is in the studio just churning out the hits. I'm going to check out the new song, see what I think, and get back to him. Uh, but with that said, guys, thank you so much for viewing. I really appreciate it. And uh, let's get the Suzy Q's. Hurry up. Let's go. Smash like the king is